Hello everybody, would like to welcome you to week number three. Just a reminder, there is no official in-class meeting this week, uh, but there's going to be assignments that need to be completed by Monday, uh, including a discussion board posting. Let's take a look and see what we have on tap. If we take a look at it, uh, the topic for the week is going to be microaggr microaggressions. Uh, we're going to find out how do we define them, what are examples of them, and then what we can do as educators to you know, deal with them if they come up in the classroom. Because whether you're in a elementary school, a preschool, a middle school, a high school, or even a college, this is something you will have to address. Uh, a couple activities to do for the week. I will be reaching back out to your principals and directors of the various schools that we're going to be working with, letting them know who is all set with their eye chats and their TV testing. So ideally, you should be getting started within, uh, you know, if you can start this week, fantastic. If you can't start till next week, you know, that's fine as well. Again, ideally, I want you started before the first week in October. Once you've done that, you're going to complete your first uh, teacher apprenticeship reflective teaching log, where you're going to talk about, you know, what did you do on the first day, who'd you meet, how'd you feel, all those sorts of things. Uh, I'll talk about the discussion board posting in just a minute. Your critical reflection for the week is how did microaggressions impact how do microaggressions impact teaching and learning? And then use one example from the website video or reading to help illustrate your point. Uh, be very explicit in who you know which article you're you're gonna cite from. And then again, you know, be descriptive. Talk about you know how this could impact teaching and learning from both the student's perspective and even you can talk about it from a teacher's perspective. That needs to be completed by Monday evening. As far as your discussion board posting goes, if you are on your main page here and go to the tools section and come down to where it says discussion boards, your question is right here, prompt. How can schools best balance the need to foster intellectual discourse about difficult topics with a need to protect students who may feel marginalized, marginalized for some reason? Please post initially by Friday and then respond to your classmates post by Monday. If you have any questions between now and then, please do not hesitate to reach out and let me know. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I uh, hope you have a good week. Thanks a lot.